Hello, my name is Nathan Hall and I am the author of the upcoming article titled With a Gun to Their Head, Adopting a Duress Exception to the Serious Non-Political Crime Bar that will be in the ALA Law Journal. Asylum, or coming to the United States to flee persecution, has its limits. And one of those limits is that if you've committed a serious non-political crime in your home country, you're barred from entry into the United States. This could be selling drugs, stealing, or doing physical harm to someone. But there's a glaring hole in the law. There's no duress exception, meaning selling drugs because you want to sell drugs and selling drugs because someone has a gun to your head are treated the exact same way. Both are an absolute bar to entry. As our country sees more asylum seekers coming from Northern Triangle countries, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, this has the potential to become more of a problem. Asylum seekers from those countries are often fleeing gang violence and that gang violence relies heavily on coercive tactics. By refusing this group of people entry, we're denying asylum to a group who arguably needs it more, a group that has been forced to commit crimes under the threat of death or serious bodily harm. I argue in the article that there are avenues for judges to interpret the law in a way that makes sense and is coherent with our sense of justice in this country, but ultimately I advocate for Congress to make these small changes to our immigration law so that they're clearer and more permanent. This is the, only the beginning of thinking about a changes that need to be made to our asylum law, but it's a change that can meaningfully impact the lives of asylum seekers. Thank you.